Hey folks, welcome back to Tractor Tales. This week we're going to go visit Lee Miller in Adrian, North Dakota to learn about his John Deere D that started it all. My collecting started 50 years ago when I purchased this 1949 D John Deere. My dad farmed with one just like it when I was growing up, so I saw one on, on an auction sale and I decided I had to have it. Everything heavy you use the D for because it had the most power. It was electric start. A lot of tractors back in the 40s weren't necessarily electric start and they had lights. So yeah, it was a pretty well equipped tractor. As it turned out, this is sort of a rarer D. It's a rice model. And people used to look at the fenders and say somebody cut them off. But that's not the case. Uh, John Deere cut them that way because they had oversized rice tires on the rear. Well, they're deep lug. People down in the rice country, they uh, need it for traction. I did a little research on it, and this tractor actually was shipped to Jamestown, North Dakota, and we all know that we don't grow any rice here. Well, I still plow with it every year. We have an old time plowing bee every fall. I think this fall we plowed uh, 100 acres. All the neighbors come over that have old tractors and plows, and we just have a fun day. Thanks, Greg. Well, it's no surprise net farm income is expected to fall in 2024, but not all economists agree on how much. We'll tell you why next. You're watching U.S. Farm Report. Trusted, timely, tradition. 